Today I'm going to show you how I designed this stunning hero section with nested tabs in Elementor without any custom code or plugin. I will show you step by step how to build this and provide you with all the materials you need so you can recreate it yourself and use it for your next web design project. You can use nested tabs to create almost anything. Here's another example of how I used it to showcase a t-shirt product. Later in the video I will reveal how you can download this entire section as a ready to use template so you can import it directly into your Elementor website and save tons of time. And one last thing before we start, if you want to watch more of these Elementor case studies, then I also have a video about how I made this cool Parallax website with Elementor for free. Okay, let's dive in and get started. All right, as you can see, I'm inside the Elementor editor and here we have the final result. But I will go ahead and delete it so I can show you how I built this from scratch. First off, create a container and set the width to 500 pixels. Then I will search for the widget tabs and drag it in. As you can see, this does not look like the normal old tabs, which is this one. And that's because I have changed the Elementor settings. So to do this, go back to the control panel and find Elementor and click on settings. Then navigate to features and scroll down until you find nested elements. Make sure that this is active and then remember to save changes. Okay, so now you have activated the new nested tabs. Click on the tabs and choose the first one, delete the title and then click on the icon. As you can see, I have created this circle. This is just something I made with Canva and I have made an active circle and an inactive circle. So you can see the difference. I will just choose the active circle or inactive and then choose the active, which is this one with the ring around it. Okay, so now we just have to duplicate this process and do it again on the next tab. And of course, choose a different color. I will also do this on the third tab. For now, we will only just create three tabs and then we can duplicate it at the end of the video. I will also remove the title of each tab and then set the direction to below so we have the content above us. Search for the video widget and drag it in here. And now, as you can see, if I choose the third tab, we can see the video, but the two other tabs does not have any content. So I'll just duplicate the process and insert a video in each like this. Okay, before we continue, I will just change the styling of the tabs and set this to 25 and the distance from the content to 35. I will then remove the background so we don't have this ugly green box behind it. I will just set this to transparent on every and then the padding to zero. The icon size should be 50 pixels. Then let's change the video from this placeholder to my own video that I just uploaded. You can of course choose your own video or just download mine from the description below. I will set it to autoplay and choose the aspect radio to 1 1. Now let's just save and take a look at what we built so far in a new tab. Okay, really cool. It's starting to look like the fun result. But as you can see, we have this weird play bar at the bottom. So to get rid of this, we need to click on the video, click on content, and then toggle on all of these settings. So play on mobile, mute and loop. The player controls need to be hidden. So I will do that. Okay, let's just refresh and take a look at it now. All right, cool. So now it's working, but as you can see, if I change the color, there is no video. So let's just go ahead and copy this video and insert it again here and delete the old placeholder. I will do the exact same thing. I will just duplicate this process and do it on all the other colors. I will just skip this part and fast forward now. Okay, done. So let me go ahead and open this in a new tab. And as you can see, we now have all of the colors available, which is really cool. 
I really like the yellow and the purple colors. So if you want to save time, you can just download this as a ready to import template. Click the link in the description below and click I want this. This is free by the way. Click get and then you will get this zip file that you can download. Then navigate to Elementor Editor, click on the library icon, click on upload and then find the zip file and extract it so you have a JSON file. Import the JSON file like this and there you go, it's, it's as easy as that. I have more Elementor case study videos coming up where you can learn cool element tricks for your next web design projects. Take a look at this video for example.